Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, today we are going to try to defeat Elite Thunder Rock. Uh, in general, whenever you are progressing throughout the game, like for example right now I'm in Season Sob 2, Behemoths are getting stronger and stronger and of course, especially Elite Behemoths are way stronger than normal ones. The big difference is in terms of damage, in terms of health of the behemoths, it's not that easy to defeat any single one of them. Uh, in this case, Elite Thunder Rock is especially powerful simply because it's not about dealing damage in this kind of, uh, in this Thunder Rock battle, it's all about survivability, it's all about movement, right? As you can see, there is like on the green land, there is electricity which where you should not stand and that's not even a main uh, mechanic about Thunder Rock. The main mechanic is about healing wards and as soon as we're gonna enter to the healing ward stage, I will explain uh, what kind of mechanic it is because without that, yep, Finally, this is healing world mechanic. Uh, if you won't gonna take this healing words soon enough, uh, Thunder Rock is going to heal itself. So you are kind of uh, healing yourself and not allowing uh, Thunder Rock to heal for himself. That's like one of the most important mechanics of the Thunder Rock because simply, if you won't gonna avoid the mechanics which uh, Thunder Rock has in a moment, um, the Rock will heal itself and it would not matter how much damage you actually did to the behemoths. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna lie, we tried these behemoths already many many times and we were not able to get it. Uh, I hope this will be the one, uh, this will be the time when we can actually take it, but unfortunately it's not that easy. Uh, it's not like we are not having tier 5 players here, we have quite a lot of tier 5 players who are dealing huge amount of damage, but as I have mentioned in this uh, Thunder, Rock, uh, Thunder Rock Elite run, uh, damage is not the main priority, it's understanding when you where you are standing, it's understanding to take the healing wards as soon as possible because if you will dam deal damage uh, like as much as possible and you won't gonna take the healing wards, uh, Thunder Rock will heal itself and your damage will be uh, like kinda useless, right? So far we took, um, we, like Thunder Rock still has 3 million HP which is quite a lot. We only lost one member, uh, which is a good thing to see because in these fights uh, you need to stay alive as much as possible because every single healing ward needs some amount of uh, members to touch it. Without that, it will be impossible uh, for the uh, alliance to take the Thunder Rock. Uh, 39 members, I like what I'm seeing. Um, I hope we're gonna enter to the next healing ward stage in a much better space than we have done it in past couple of ones as I have mentioned I won't gonna lie it's not our first try like I won't gonna say that we are defeating Thunder Rock in our first try we tried it like already for three days and of course we are going to try it until we're gonna make it and we have an opportunity uh, the Elite Thunder Rock is not amazing because you are getting rewards like in terms of gems and some uh, teleportation scroll. It's good because you are getting 5% extra attack bonus and in general for the future zones uh, you will be it will, it will be amazing for your whole alliance to have it because whenever you are fighting against many different alliances every single additional buff is important. It's especially important whenever you are fighting tier 5 players and also it's important for your own team 5 players so far I think this is becoming the best run we have ever had in terms of Elite Thunder Rock in season sub 2 I really really hope we are going to take it the next healing world stage will be the most crucial one in my opinion and in terms of pure numbers of legions which we currently have uh, it should be enough uh, for us to take the wards right 1.7 million HP, good enough, let's see what will be our maximum, uh, of course I would like to heal my legion simply because I only have left like 100k troops here, uh, but so far I think we are doing absolutely fine, yeah I just took a huge amount of damage, what's left right now is the healing ward stage, and if we're gonna do it nicely i'm pretty sure we are going to take this elite thunder rock which we have been trying to take for a long long time 
33 members alive i think it should be enough to take the wards yeah eight members is needed in here let's just take it as soon as we can because we don't want the thunder rock to heal itself that's pretty crucial in my opinion i'm gonna run towards the top side uh, yeah as you can see unfortunately these guys could not take the uh, like another healing ward and like rock is healing super super fast unfortunately right yeah i guess we have to take another one without that it will be really really hard uh, some players should risk their life in order to take it because it's healing just too much right yeah i guess finally the electricity just got removed and we have still 29 members in order to deal 2 million damage uh to the thunder rock of course i will heal here let's see how much heal i can get and maybe this will be enough for us to defeat it because for the another one uh for another healing world stage i don't think we're gonna have enough people enough legions in order to take it because 29 legions are not enough to take uh the wards simply because one ward needs eight uh, members to click on it which means that we won't gonna have enough for the four uh, wards right now it's time for do a damage 1.7 million hp uh, i guess we're gonna find out in like 30 to 40 seconds if we're gonna have enough damage uh, i like that rock is not doing anything right now besides standing still and i hope uh, right now we won't gonna be standing on the electricity ground uh, because it will be devastating for us uh, 28 members uh, and 1.5 million hp 1.4 i guess this is the best run we have had and even though we might not take it i will be still posting this one because we covered every single stage which thunder rock has soon um, there will be like an enraging moment yeah like we need to kill this behemoth in one minute if not um, uh, it will just one shot every single member who whoever it will touch and let's see if we're gonna have enough damage in order to defeat uh this like quite strong uh, elite behemoth 1.1 million uh, let's see we have 41 seconds it's pretty interesting if we will be able to do it but yeah in 33 35 seconds i guess we are waiting for our artifacts uh, in general artifacts are dealing huge amount of damage in the behemoth fights so like we at least we managed to survive the, until the enraging moment uh, that's why like it, it will be quite close right now it's artifact stage and let's hope our artifacts will be enough to defeat this uh behemoths i guess no like we are getting teleported out simply because the uh, damage was not enough but yeah we still covered uh covered every single detail about the thunder rock it's just in regis and it just one shots everybody that's like main uh mechanics which you need to understand you know if you want to defeat the thunder rock as i have mentioned before this behemoth fight is not easy i'm gonna tell you guys how many tier 5 players we had like a one tier 5 player one two three four five six it's not seven um seven eight uh nine okay we had like nine to ten uh tier five players out of 40 members which i think should be enough right that's why I, as i have mentioned in the start of the video uh, the thunder rock elite thunder rock is not about having it like uh, all tier 5 players if you don't know the movement if you don't know what to avoid it will be almost impossible for you to take down the behemoths right also remember like whenever you are like fighting inside the lair try to get attack stone mana stone like at least like five percent seven percent would be amazing but at least five percent will be great don't forget to scout enemy town or enemy legion because uh, when you are like uh, scouting somebody you are getting like another attack buff and those buffs are in my opinion is enough for you to deal damage for the uh defeating the elite thunder rock after that it's only matters how coordinated you are and remember healing words are not only because you want to heal your legion healing words are simply because you don't want your elite behemoth to heal itself so it won't gonna matter how much 
damage you dealt if the behemoth is healing himself, right? For every single second, like behemoth is healing for a couple of thousand HP, and I think it's really, really important to understand that healing ward uh, uh, mechanic is the most important mechanic which uh, uh, Elite Thunder Rock has. So if you need to be cautious, you need to be fast, and I understand sometimes uh, Elite Thunder Rock knocks back the uh, Alliance members and they are knocked back to the electricity and it's really hard to move inside the electricity because your march speed is slowed and you want to rush to the healing ward that sometimes happens it's not your fault it's just a luck sometimes thunder rock throws your members and yourself into the electricity and it's totally not your fault another most important topic the important topic is that every 30 seconds thunder rock is doing like thunders it's sometimes pink colored you just need to move like in a couple of millimeters to avoid because uh, it's not attached to you it's just throwing on the ground and if you will notice there is like red circle circle around the ground which you should not stand it actually deals quite a lot of damage and it also deals damage to nearby legions uh, i hope this video will be at least helpful for you guys and i showed how strong uh, elite behemoths are and i explained every single detail about defeating um, like elite thunder rock well, of course we're gonna try it again i hope we're gonna take it i know the last behemoth guide was uh, about frost giant and i put video which we could not capture it but at least i showed um, like how to generally take it in couple of days we actually take the frost giant and i think same will happen here i'm gonna post this video and today even later i'm pretty sure we are going to defeat the elite sandrog i hope everybody will use my guides in order for you guys to defeat every single uh, behemoth uh, which is in the game and in general like if you like if you press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game uh, I hope everybody will have an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. Uh, we are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.